What's up, y'all? So she cheated. This is Omala, Omala, and um, Chanel. Um, both of them saying they're telling their side of the story. I don't know what's happening. I just want to know what happened, okay? Um, and send a good message. But, yeah, let's get into it. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Nick G, the host. And today, I'm back with another reaction video. Before we go any further, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. You dig what I'm saying? And what the goddamn hell? Yeah, Lee. So, uh, I already read the title. I'm about to eat my cheese pizza. Let's get into this video. Yeah, dig. Uh, description bottle and let me know how you... How you... <sighs> y'all see by the title what's going down. And I'm finally here to tell my part of the story. I mean, I mean, not part of the story, but this is just the truth. I'm here to tell the truth and what's really going on, what happened, what happened on my, my, I just want to hear my part, right? So a lot of people have been asking me, first of all, I just want to say, I didn't rush to make a video, to come on YouTube and make a video, a fiend to make a video, you feel me? It, she posted her video like two months ago and I'm just not posting the video. Like it took me like five months, four, 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 five months to make this video or whatever. Because I was healing, you feel me? I didn't want to brush into the world and tell the world what's going on. If I would have made this video in the beginning of our breakup, I would have been distraught on this camera. Like distraught. Distraught, distraught. Like I was a hot ass mess. Okay, I get it. Alright. So, like, first of all, I know people be like, oh, bashing, bashing. Honestly, at this point, it's like, I'm going to say how I feel. I'm going to say what I want to feel because I've been through a lot of trauma, emotional damage, and all of that. And it's like, the stuff, it's like, people need to know, like, because there's no, there's no, oh, oh my God, Chanel, everything is so good. I'm sorry about that, da, 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 whatever. Whatever y'all was saying, because I watched her video, whatever y'all was saying on, on the video. And I'm just here to say that. <clears throat> <clears throat> fucking like I left if I didn't leave pretty much I'll still be in a relationship depressed getting disrespected getting cheated on and all of that like I don't know who's supposed to deal with that and be under a roof dealing with that shit you feel me it's emotionally damaging, it's depressing. I was depressed, 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 depressed. I was, I was asking for like emotional help. Like, I would ask her like, yo, like, I need your presence, I need your, your affection, this and that. And I wasn't getting that from her. And I told her, I'm like, yo, somebody got your attention or something? No, no, nobody got my attention. That's what she always kept telling me, nobody got my attention. But it's all laws, like it's all laws. First of all, all right, let me just say something good. You. Come on, something good and accountability and shit. You got to love people like this. Sorry, she said something good. I just wanted to put that out there. Everybody know in the beginning of a relationship. First of all, everybody know how I felt about Chanel. Like, just based on videos, based on, on Instagram, based on all of that. Like, I will adore her. You feel me? Like, I'm showing my girl up to the world. Adore, adore, adore. If you've noticed that I stopped doing that, when it's because... I wasn't receiving the same energy, you feel me? Like, if I'm not receiving the same energy, it's like I'm not about to look stupid. And also, if you're giving me energy, like, you moving funny, then also I'm going to be like, damn, something ain't, something ain't right. You starting to move funny, like, you feel me? Disrespect, you disrespecting me, and you moving funny. <clears throat> this is why I stopped posting her, I stopped posting us. And stuff like that. She stopped wanting to do YouTube videos. I never wanted to stop YouTube videos. Do YouTube videos. But she wanted to stop. She stopped posting me. She didn't even damn near. Like she. she. I know everything now about social media. But we on social media. We started on social media. And if you just stop. It's like I feel like what's going on. The people feel like what's going on. You know what I'm saying. It's like man like huh. And I would do everything for this girl. Like to make her happy. Like oh. Flowers, this, that, that, all the time, da, da, da. And I just felt like it wasn't enough. Like, she said she wasn't enough. She said, she told me she needed space. She told me she felt controlled. I don't believe that. 
she felt control. I felt like the reason she felt control is because she couldn't do what she wanted to do, which was cheat on me. She was coming home three o'clock in the morning. I hit her up the other day, Chanel, because I watched her video and she was distraught. And um, Chanel was talking about how she was depressed. And I was like, yo, Chanel, you know what I'm saying? I was exactly where you was a couple of years ago. You know, um, find something that your mind could, you know, that you could focus on. And, you know, um, I don't know, just a message to just fucking feel better. I watched that video. I felt so bad because she was so sad, you know? <sighs> Lord, I hate not hearing the other side of the story. I hate it. I don't like to reach out to nobody because of of shit like this and not saying i i don't know i wasn't with neither one of them so i don't know what the fuck happened you know but come on now every night uh this was a point this is when it, it started getting crazy every night telling me that she was out with her sister which was a lie she was out with whoever she talked to now that's who she was out linking like you feel me and it's like it's like just be real i asked this girl multiple times like y'all you know, actual like yo who got your attention who got your attention? Nobody got my attention. Yo, who got your attention? Nobody got my attention. You lying. Does this gonna make somebody mad if you doing all of this stuff and and, 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 and you're not telling them what's up? You feel me? Like, yo, tell me what's up. What's good? You want me to just stay here? What you want me for comfort? Because now I'm seeing in her video, she's saying, I love her with this and that. Who's supposed to stay in under a roof with somebody who's cheating on them, being sneaky, being disrespectful, and doing all that. Like, who's supposed to stay under the roof and doing that? Like, you lied and you cheated. That's what it is. Like, I'm telling you, like, stop playing with my, my emotions. And that whole thing just broke me down. Like, that day, the, our last argument that we had, <clears throat> I was broken down. I was crying. Breaking down, crying. In the middle of the living room. Like, what did I do to deserve this? What can I do? What can we do? Damn, I should have been talking to her. Oh, you know, good birth, babe. <laughs> you know, you ever stayed with someone who cheated, Nick? Yep. My relationship. Hold on, y'all. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, y'all know I got the acid reflux, huh? We got to get that good gas out. Um. The relationship I was in before my last relationship. She was cheating on me with a guy from work. Um, hell, and an another guy. She was cheating on me with a few guys. But we actually friends today. Um, I started cheating on her too. And boom, it was murder she wrote. <laughs> she started cheating on me with a guy she was at work with. I started cheating on her with a girl I was working with, you know. And girl, it was just a lot. Um, but at that time, you know, I was weak as fuck. Like today, I mean, to be honest with you, the, I'm not going to say like, I'm just going to stay with you if you cheat on me. No, I do want to talk about the circumstances though of the cheating. Um, see, I'm the type to be like, baby, you missing something? Cause like, if you need it, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you do what you got do what you got to do you know what i'm saying i'm that type of person and um sometimes you know some people just not happy i feel like you need to revisit though and have a conversation about that y'all remember what i told y'all i felt like shit i felt like since cuz since she has a, you know, another person. London. Go and take the box. Take it in a row. Oh, okay. Y'all, I want to say what I want to say, but I can't. To make this better. Can we go to counseling? I wanted to marry you, this and that. She just stood there, stood there and said, no, I'm going to the gym. I said, yo, this shit is crazy. Like, I never ever felt like this shit in my life. Like, I never felt that emotion. 
of just what the fuck did I do wrong? Like, Nothing. yes, we need a space. Yes, and she said something about we was together at, for five years, 24 7. No, we was not, because we, it was times where we was not together. Like, we were making it seem like we were together all the time. And also, she was making it seem like I forced her to be together and I forced to stay around. Like, when you first get with somebody, you want to be with them. She was on me. She wanted me in her pics. She wanted me to, oh, come here, come in, do this, do this, do this. Like, don't make it seem like it was just me, 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 me. Like, it's a together thing. You feel me? It's a together thing. We grew the channel together. We did this together. And I took the channel because I felt that, like, you can't, don't, this, you're not going to disrespect me, cheat on me, lie to me, disrespectful, emotionally break me down, have me depressed, and just feel like, oh, you got everything. No, you didn't even want to do YouTube. This is why I took the channel. Like, you don't even want to do it. Now you want to do YouTube all of a sudden because you want to do it by yourself, which is fine. Like, this is cool. Like, you can do it by yourself. That's good. Kudos to you. Like, I don't really care. But, and I don't care if people say I'm bashing and bitter because I, nobody, none of y'all was there when I was in the living room, breaking down, when I was in the car, breaking down, crying, I was calling hotlines, I was doing all this, nobody. Calling hotlines, bro? Man, fuck these people. Shit, I, yo, it's calling hotlines for me. This shit right here is like a lonely, lonely time, bro. And what's crazy from her social media it don't show that. Damn, you just never know what a person going through. Even by looking at her now, she she don't look like nothing. You well, she looks emotional, yes. She look like she's been crying, but if 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 nobody knew her, they wouldn't think anything was wrong with her. Cause she's so well put together. Me, when I'm when I'm feeling a mess, I look a mess. <laughs> like I when I'm when I'm in a bad place. I haven't been in a bad place, like, you know what I'm saying? But I haven't been, uh, I haven't had what I need to have these past few months. So, y'all, this what the fuck I look like, okay? I'm just now getting back where I need to be. And now I can get myself to look better. But she looks amazing, you know what I'm saying? And it's just crazy. You just never know what people are going through. It was there to fucking comfort me when I was doing all that when this girl told me she not in love with me no more for no reason like and matter of fact it was a reason because she talking to somebody else somebody else had her attention and y'all can see like in the video that she said she clearly said that she talking to somebody like y'all see it right I look good friend but I ain't got my hair done in three months that ain't looking good three months and I just I, it's, it's just crazy to me like uh I just left, like, I called my best friend, I'm like, I can't do this no more, what should I do? Uh, I need guidance, like, I'm gonna go what? crazy, I'm a, like, I'm already broken down, it was to the point where I couldn't feel my body, like, it was just crazy, Man, like, I get if y'all ever went through a breakup and y'all know, y'all know, the this is why I couldn't come up. can't feel your body, chest hurting, I feel like you about to have a fucking heart attack, don't know what to eat, probably just eat once a day, but drinking, if you smoke weed, smoke and just a hot ass mess. On camera, like soon as that shit happened, there's no way. And I saw her crying on camera. I'm telling y'all right now. That's the second time I've seen that girl cry out of five years. So I don't even know, like, if, like maybe her emotions is getting better, her affection, her communication or something. Because anytime I ask her for like affection, the commun communication, all of that. It was just me breaking down crying and shit like that. And I never even been like that with nobody. So it was just like, I felt mad stupid. Like, damn, I'm in love with you. Like, uh, and you clearly not in love with me because you told me to my face, I'm not in love with you no more for no fucking reason. I'm like, yo. <sighs> nah, she was supposed to be. Yo, I'm not even about to go. I'm not even going to go there. I'm not even going to go. Nah, she was supposed to be and let her go. Look, if this is to, if this is true, y'all, yeah, mm-mm. I've always had to be the one to dump somebody. I'm not even going to lie. Nobody has really dumped me. Um, like, I, I just can't take that. I, I, you telling me you don't love me? Bitch! <laughs> you, you don't love me? Oh my God. 
I don't love you no more. Child, I'm packing the computer while y'all live right now. I don't love you no more. You know what, bet? <laughs> I'm taking plugs out. I'm fucking everything. I'm out. Girl, everybody ain't like that. Some people like to save, you know, whatever. And y'all, that's probably why my, you're right, Cinderella. My pride is a motherfucker, okay? My pride is terrible. I'm not going to let myself get there because I'm telling you I'm past that shit. I'm past it. I feel good. I'm in a better place in my life. I feel better about myself. I feel like I could find myself now. I, I lost myself within being in that relationship. And she, she was a huge part of it. And a lot of people I see were saying, oh, she got her body done and she left and she changed up. Yes, I truly believe that has a part of it starting to do with it. And I, I seen her in her video talking about, oh, I ain't paid for her video, paid for her body. It's just ridiculous how people could just fucking switch up on you and just talk crazy. Like, I was dead through your whole surgery. Paying for it don't matter to the amount of stuff that I did for you when you got out of surgery. I took care of you. You couldn't walk. You couldn't pee. You couldn't fucking eat. I was dead. So please don't try to say, oh, you ain't paid for my surgery. I don't be knowing if the people that the people I'm reacting to, I don't be knowing if y'all gonna watch these videos, right? But if you watch these videos, this is not at you. I'm going through something too. You know what I'm saying? And people just seem to forget. Oh, it's ugly. It's an ugly thing. Like, that kind of mindset is just immature. Like, this is the I, shit I, I, I just, uh, I feel like, damn, I feel like I was used. And I'm now I'm thinking about it, everything that I did in this relationship, I'm really thinking, like, what did she do for me? I'm not talking materialistic stuff, like, buy stuff for my birthday. What did she do for me? She didn't help me gain confidence. She didn't motivate me to do nothing. <clears throat> my friend, she can't help you gain confidence, friend. You got to gain that down on your own. Now, she could have complimented you. She could have, you know, um, you say you was complimenting her. She could have been giving you the same thing, you know. Um, but she can't, uh, she can't build confidence for you, unfortunately. But I get what you mean, though. <clears throat> but it's like the opposite, one-sided. I did a lot for this girl, like. A, a lot, a lot of shit behind the scenes. And sis, sis, I'm not even gonna talk about the st stuff I did for her. I was always there. I'm always the type of person to give, want to help, want to elevate. Mm. So mm. her video was contradicting because it's like in the beginning of our breakup, she made the video. Then it's like you on social media bashing me, talking about bashing me. I don't even know, remember, because I don't care no more. But it's like contradicting. You're saying, oh. This, this, that, but then on social media you're saying something totally different. Like it's, 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 it's just confusing. Like say what you mean, say what you like. Be real, you feel me? But anyways, um, it's like a lot of it's a it's a lot of stuff to think about what she said in her video, but I don't remember. Maybe, but I'm not gonna do a reaction to it unless I don't know for what though. Like after this video i really don't want to talk about this like i want to elevate i feel better i'm in a better headspace i'm in a better part of my life i don't feel depressed no more i was depressed yeah Word, I like was. i was depressed i was going through depression and i know she said um we talked about this how i know it, it has nothing to do with me as far as how she feel because before we even broke up she was feeling some before we um she got her body done and we broke up, she was feeling the same way, depressed, this, that, that, and she told me to my face, it has nothing to do with you. And I told this girl, I'm like, let me know what I could do for you. I'm here for you. She sat there, cried, and told me, it's nothing you could personally do, and it's not you. And I said, okay, it's not me, so I'm just here. But now, as soon as she got her body done, it's me. Like, it don't make no sense. As soon as she got her body done, you staying out 3 o'clock in the morning. Late night, coming home, smelling like weed. Like, it don't make no sense. As soon as you got your body done, you doing weird shit. Like, turning off your phone at night and, 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 and 
It's just weird shit. Like, it don't make no sense. Like, and it's just sneaky. I feel bad, too. I really do. Um, You could just tell, like, she loved her a lot. You know what I'm saying? And, um, I mean, I can't act like I ain't been where she is, what she talking about. Like, shh, I was real stupid for, um, my, my, um, my ex, my, my ex before my last ex, y'all. Um, boy, I was stupid as hell too. And I knew, I knew what was going on. That's when I was going through phones and shit, you know, and, um, the first time I went through it, you know, she was talking to this guy. Y'all, it was so bad with me. I went to the nigga job. <laughs> like, I don't think I've given a story time to this. I need to get y'all a story time. I went to his job. Did you hear me? <clears throat> because I didn't know what he looked like. It's almost like I accepted the cheating. And... Because I started cheating. So it's like, you cheating, fuck it, I'm going to cheat too. And uh, I was slowly falling out, okay? Slowly falling out of love with her. But our friendship was dope. I our friendship was really dope. Like, she's still my friend today. Like, And she told me too, like, Nick, I just don't want you to ever be so naive. Because, you know, people just can be naive these days. But yeah, I went to the nigga job. Because I wanted to know what he looked like. Like, first of all, she was a girl that, that wasn't fully lesbian, bisexual. I mean, bisexual. And um, I was her first, okay? But she started missing the D. So the thing is, like, I have conversations with TT all the time. Because I, I'm not going to lie. Like, if uh, clearly, if I get cheated on, I would be upset. I'm not acting like I'm just... I'm, I'm a, a real G out here, you know, like on that, like with the heart and shit, I would be very upset, but I like to have conversations first. Anyway, I love to revisit. Look, you all right? Need some dick. I'm just saying, if you, you know, let me know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? She was telling me she was missing the touch of a man and the smell of a man. She was missing everything about a man, you know, which is fine with me because Unfortunately, in my lifestyle, it's nothing you could do. Like, it's it's absolutely not nothing you could do if a woman wants to go back to a man. You would look dumb as fuck trying to stop her from going back to a dude. Like, it's just not happening. So I wanted to see what the nigga looked like. And I went to his job. And then I told her later, like probably months later, she missed that sweaty ball smell. Girl, whatever it is, I'm going to get my lick back every time if you cheat on me. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. She cheated with somebody at her job. I cheated with somebody at my job. And, uh, you know, it was murder she wrote after that. They don't make all that sneaky shit. Petty, like, petty, it's just, it's just, who wants to deal with that? And, wait, and some, they in the bed with somebody. It feel like that all the time, like, you feel me? It's just disrespectful and it's fucked up, like, it's fucked up because everybody know I was down for this girl. I was ready to marry her. I was ready to celebrate five years with her. I was ready. I never wanted to break up with the girl. She she wanted to break up with me because she said she needed space. She felt controlled. She wanted to break up with me because she found somebody else. She felt controlled because she couldn't do what she want with, like, be outside and do what she want and not disrespect me, you feel me, under the roof. Now that I'm not there, you can do what you want. If I'm in the presence, it's due, I'm, clearly I'm going to feel, you're going to feel this. So the control thing, right, that does become a thing. Now me, I'm already not going to be out at 3 o'clock in the morning, right? Because I don't want you to do it to me. But respectfully, I couldn't have a girlfriend that just be out at 3 o'clock in the morning doing her. Because I don't know what you're doing. People call that control. I just think that it's a respect thing. If you don't want me doing it, you don't need to do it. And then I'm out here worried as hell. Trying to figure out what the hell you got going on at 3 o'clock in the morning. Nah, that's just, it's just a bad feeling. 
disrespected, you feel me? Like you're disrespecting me. I never one time disrespected this girl. Out of five years, I was faithful to this girl. I was loyal to this girl. I never cheated on her. I never fucking um <clears throat> flirted with another girl. I never did none of that. Oh, oh my la. Oh my la. You lying, bro. Ain't no way you ain't flirted with another girl. I just don't believe that shit. You might not you might not have cheated though. You might not have cheated. However, nigga, everybody flirt. TT. One last time you flirted. Good answer. <laughs> I flirted with you earlier. Yeah. Nah, you flirted with somebody. Ain't no way. Like, I was all about her. And it just hurt because, like, damn. It just fucking up my trust for, for my future. But honestly, it's not because I'm not. It is just a lesson to me. I already told you. If I would have came in on this video and did this video months ago, it would have been a whole different situation for me. I would have been crying. And I'm not coming on the video crying because I did that in person like i did that in real life you feel me and nobody was there i'm not gonna i'm not gonna cry just what for the camera this? i did it in real you life see, nobody was there that shit like a swift ass leo sick of it <laughs> i flirted with you earlier <laughs> what the fuck do i be doing baby you telling me you ain't flirting with nobody ever you telling me you ain't flirting with nobody out in public by yourself you're a leo you flirted with somebody. You done flirted with somebody. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Period. I forgot how you operate. <laughs> I had to deal with it myself. And um, my friends had to deal, deal with it. It's just like, if I didn't have my friends and my family, I don't know what I would do. Like, seriously, because I honestly was on the verge of just fuck this shit. Like, dead ass. Over a uh, over a person, and it should not be like that, like. Nah. But it's just it. sudden, like, if somebody you think in love with you, just blatantly tell you, like, oh, if I'm like, oh, what's wrong with you? Why are you not happy? Da, da, da. They don't know. They don't know. I'm just not in love with you no more. In your face, it's like, what the fuck, yo? Like, what the fuck did I do? And this all happened when I came to my uh, brother. I came to, to, for my brother's birthday. I went to Atlanta for four days. That's when it went left. She told me she needed space. I, you know, I was like, oh, I'm going to Atlanta, blah, 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 whatever. I felt it deep down in my heart. Something told me, I'm like, when I go, something is going to happen. I came back. So when I was in Atlanta, something happened. <clears throat> And I believe that's when the shit really got turned, like, turned up. I, I believe that's when she really did something, like, because I felt it in my gut. You can't, your intuition never lie, like, you can feel that shit, that mm -hmm. ass. And when I got back, she was moving funny, acting funny. It was just weird, like, and it's just a lot of stuff. I, it's a lot of shit, like, that just, the hints is there, like, and I've been knowing, like, just acting like I'm invisible, acting like I don't exist, like, it's just crazy, like. Oh, that's terrible. That somebody could just switch up like that. It's crazy that somebody could let another person in into their world while they're dealing with somebody. Like, and it's just crazy. She uh, in the video she was saying um she wanted this to be civilized. It's no civilization when you hurt somebody. It's no civilization when you do somebody. You, you, I'm ready to you, see her video too. Make somebody feel like how they felt. What civilization? I gotta go. I packed my shit and I left. No, There's no civilization in that. I'm out. You're not gonna keep doing this. It's, it's not, it's not, it, you can't do that. If you can't have two people, you can't have three people, four, four people, five people, when that one person was giving you that all. For me, like, and it's just fucked up because I just know karma is good. Like, karma and the world gonna realize, and, and everybody gonna realize. I mean, I know who I am, I know my loyalty, and I know I'm. Um, I'm gonna find a woman who respects that and does not take that for granted and we could both share individuality and grow together and grow apart and that's just how it's supposed to be and <clears throat> and for me I've just moved on from that whole situation. I will never ever 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 
be back in a relationship or go back to Chanel like ever because the feeling that I felt I never ever felt that in my life and I never want to feel that again right now I feel like a new person like I don't want to feel like that ever again like mm -hmm. depressed and just feel like I just don't want to be here in this world that's how I was feeling I'm being real to y'all that's how I was feeling after that, that I will never forget that one day I was sitting in a car like I couldn't move I couldn't eat. I couldn't speak. I was crying. I was oh. praying. I was crying. No flashbacks. Ah! Y'all, that shit is a terrible feeling. That damn depression shit ain't no motherfucking joke. On the hotlines, I was doing everything because I'm just like, what is going on? I never felt this feeling. My body didn't feel like my body. My mind, my soul didn't feel like my soul. Ooh. My heart just felt like it really jumped out my stomach and walked away. That's how I was feeling when that girl told me she not loving me no more. And just went about her day like everything was cool after I broke down in front of her face, crying, 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 crying. She never came and put her hand on my shoulder like, it's gonna be okay, not one time. She didn't come do that, not one time. That's all I wanted. And I didn't get that. I didn't get that. I don't even remember what else she said in the video to address, but one thing I would say, when she do love, she love. When she do feel somebody, she feel, but it's like temporary, depending on the situation, you know what I mean? Like, and I just know in my heart, she will never forget me. And I mean, I will never forget her because it's like, I was with this girl for five years, but. Uh. She's young, you know. I met her when she was young. I was young, but I I don't think that has nothing to do with as far as yeah, what she said she want to live her best life. You can live your best life at any age. This is the immaturity. Nah, she just didn't want to live it with you no more. She was just ready to go out and play. I, I You know, I'd rather people say that. Like... <clears throat> We have grown apart, and I want to, wow, five years, and she ended like that. I mean, which is not cool, but the thing is, I just wish she would have kept it a band with her. Like, I I just, I want to go out and do me. Some people just be wanting to do that. They be over it. Like, just, I'm not saying it, it's right, but damn, it, is it wrong? You know, I just, mm-hmm. Could always go about something differently and she definitely should have went about this differently any age you can live your best life she told me she wanted to live her best life with me when we first got together so this is how i know it's not just me it's not me like i i, I did nothing wrong she even said in her video clarifying my loyalty like i did nothing wrong then her last video i watched too um jazz i swear I hate that shit. It's just like the feeling that you feel, feel now is how I was feeling times 10, times 20, times 30. Every day, drinking in the house, alone. It was just me and Henny. Like, it's just like I felt alone. Even when you was here, your presence, I felt alone. That's because you, you took, you gave yourself to someone else. Like, you gave your mind, you gave your emotion, you gave your soul, you gave your attention to someone else while being around me. Oh. And I felt it. My intuition did a lot. Like, I felt that shit. And it just was, was, it's just, it's just heartbreaking when you know, when you feel like <clears throat> this person is there, they gonna be the one for you, and they not. It's just fucked up. Like, that ass. That shit fucked up. I wonder what her sign up. is. Like I thought I thought this girl was gonna be the love of my life. I thought I was gonna marry her. I thought she was gonna be like my shorty. I thought we was gonna have kids, house, all of that, businesses, all of that. No, no, no. How can it be like that when you give yourself to somebody else? You give your attention, you give your loyalty, you give your everything to somebody else. It can't be like that. Like this shit is it cannot be like that. And it's fucked up. It's fucked up. Like but I'm going to be good regardless. I'm going to always be good. I told you I'm in a better headspace. I feel better about myself. I'm back to working out. I'm that shit. That shit burning her up. She's a Virgo. I'm 
back to feeling good. I'm back to feeling appreciated. I'm back to feeling loved around the people that love me. Uh, LA, what made you think that she was a Virgo? I'm back to, I'm back to me, feel me? I'm back to me, I'm back to a new me. Uh huh. Yeah. Right, that's what everybody else is saying. I thought she was a Cancer too. And hopefully y'all can come on this journey with me. She's I changed the channel name to Life for All My Love because I want to show y'all me. I want to show y'all, <laughs> like, me. Like if my, if my, uh, if my rising is a Scorpio, I get it. I totally get it. For me, like, to the real me. And, and, yeah. And hopefully somebody is going to deserve my loyalty and, and, and my, 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 my appreciation for just, uh, 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 what do you call it? My appreciation for like a, Love. Like a relationship, like uh, my appreciation for 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 loyalty, my appreciation for respect. Somebody is gonna deserve it. You feel me? And um, just wasn't hard. Like you feel me? Like it's it's just just how how it was. And um, I don't know the exact time I was born, uh, but I believe it was at twelve something. Um, and it would be Scorpio. I don't really know what to say, so that's my that's the truth of what happened. <clears throat> I got cheated on. Uh and I have receipts, but it's like for what? There's no point in even trying to like justify this. And if she says she didn't cheat, I mean she's fucking lying because that's just fucking crazy. Like it's the like she did. Like uh what I gotta I gotta say it again. Coming home three o'clock in the morning. Like, it don't make no sense. Like, it don't it don't make no sense every day. And then it's like, <laughs> it's funny. Yo, it's funny. Because I know, because I told this girl happy birthday on her birthday. And that was like back in August. Because, you know, it was like the beginning. But you just still whatever. Yeah, then I cursed her out because it was like, she tried me. As soon as I left. This girl was back linking with the same person, back doing the same shit she was. Chanel is a Leo. Doing when I left. This is how I know. Damn, I'm glad I left because I'm tired of being disrespecting time. So I don't know how long this shit been going on. That's the crazy part. Like this girl got a whole boyfriend, a whole nigga now. Like, I was wondering, was it a nigga? Ah! Oh my god! <laughs> oh. God, yeah, you just gotta let her go, friend. I mean, I think you already did, but girl, let her go, child. Let her go, let her go, let her go, okay? I don't know, like, what's worse. Like, her, like, cheating and just having sex with a nigga. Like, y'all, I don't care if the woman is her me like a feminine girl you cannot stop a woman from having sex with a nigga like if that's what they want to do i mean it's just it's just it's dna out this motherfucker okay it's dna but tell me <laughs> let a nigga i don't even I, Maybe I wouldn't even want to know. I don't, this is hard, okay? This is hard. Might not even want to know. Oh, my God. So many things go through my mind when this happens. I was going to say that. Like, she just. I have so many questions, okay? It's like, it's like. Yo. <laughs> she don't even know what to say. And I don't care what y'all say. If y'all say I'm bashing. <clears throat> Nobody was there when she was bashing me. When I was getting. My, my, my emotion was getting bashed. I ain't never hit this girl. I ain't never do nothing. Like y'all wasn't there. So. Where they find men at that make them Mr. D. 
I was wondering the same thing. <laughs> like, I'm telling y'all, I'll be like, baby, you you know what I'm saying? You good? You uh, miss any, you know, you miss niggas and shit? <laughs> like, is it, you know? And she always tell me she love to go pick hers out. But see, the difference between me and a nigga is he going to make you, he might make you come once or something. And then he just might not. You really, really, really chancing on Like, for me, TT, with, with men, right, mm-hmm. before you even got to the sex, right, what was it about a man that you liked? So, with a woman, when I touched you, when I touched you the first time or whatever the fuck, how, how, what was the difference? It was electricity. It was electricity. TTV gas and me, Joe. It was electricity. It was great. No, it was just like, okay, yes, that's how I felt inside, for real. No, but I don't know, babe. It was softer. It was attentive. Softer, attentive? Does that make sense? Yeah, it makes sense. I didn't seem like I was just trying to bust a nut. Right. It's <sighs> a lot. I what bash? It's no bash. I'm telling y'all the truth. I'm telling y'all what it is. Y'all want to know the truth. Y'all wanted to know for so long. DMs, so many DMs, questions, asking what happened, 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 what happened. That's what happened. And I'm not lying. You can see the emotion in me. Like, I'm not going to sit here and cry because I already told you I did that multiple times. Since that last day I cried, I said I'm not crying no more over this. Nah, somebody just said uh, it takes a woman to know an orgasm. I disagree. All women don't know how to do that. I'm meeting people that's making me feel energized, energy, my energy is just high, radiation is high, and the people around me that I'm around now is making me feel better, is is making me a different perspective of life, it's, it's, the energy is just so positive and, 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 and uplifting and nourishing and that's what I needed for me mm-hmm. I needed that and another thing I want to address her saying something about she couldn't have friends that's weird because she didn't have no friends I only met like two of her friends and that's it like she didn't even have no friends like to have like and why wouldn't she not be able to have friends it's crazy it's a, it's a situation where she was talking about it was one time <clears throat> where um I'm not even gonna talk about that because it's pointless. It's pointless because it's irrelevant. Like it's just irrelevant. But her saying she, do you? I want to ask a question. If she couldn't have friends when she was with me, do she got friends now? I want to know because uh, what did I say to not have to? It's just just weird. I lost all my friends. You know what I'm saying? But I got my friends back because that's what real friendship is like. Y'all see me. I'll be with my friends. Like Not, her saying she couldn't have friends is weird. Like I lost them and got them back. Uh-uh. <laughs> How you can't have friends? Like so, be with your friends. Like now, come find me your friends. It's not that. Like it's like it's like all these little excuses to try to push me away to be with somebody who you don't even know, somebody who you lust or want and think you want. And not even giving you what I gave you. Like, it's crazy. Like, and like I said, I'm not saying this to say I want to be with this girl. I don't ever want to go back with her. I'm elevated. I'm moving on. 
My camera is about to die. But I'm just gonna say this. When you get in a relationship with somebody, y'all, make sure y'all find your individuality. Make sure y'all know what y'all want. Make sure y'all not, make sure you're in the right headspace first emotionally by yourself before trying to move on and be with somebody and make sure that you are, y'all both know what y'all want. Like from the beginning, if the shooter just told me, oh, I'm not looking for a relationship, da -da -da, I don't know if I wanna be with you or be with him, her, whatever. I gotta go to Chanel video. I gotta go to her video. Um, we about to go watch that. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Um, I wish her the best. First of all, she is a beautiful woman. I mean, beautiful. And and clearly, I know she knows that. Uh, you know, but she will definitely, you know, get back to where she needs to be. I'm sure. And. Hey, I'm rooting for everybody. I just want that to be known, but I hope that she finds what she wants. And yeah, that's all I have to say. I love y'all. Hell yeah. <laughs>